Greetings, one and all, to maybe one of the best charts you may see on YouTube about Bitcoin. For the last three weeks or so, I've basically called this almost picture perfect. I, I think I might be getting shadow banned, maybe because I've been calling the dumps. I want to get to my trade and what I'm doing here in a minute. But first, I just want to say it's strange because I'm losing subscribers left and right. And, and my views are way down low. And... Uh, I'm not sure why. I'm talking about over the last three weeks over here where I've just been nailing this down, right? Just literally nailing it down. <laughs> why other channels, you know, in the last 24 hours are making, you know, the big channels, hundreds of thousands of subscribers and they're publishing videos saying Bitcoin, you know, why Bitcoin's going to 200,000 and Bitcoin about to go to 70,000 and, and just all this bullish stuff. And I just nailed this down, right? This Bitcoin is dumping every month. It's because of the CME futures market. These vertical lines are the last Friday every month. There was one green one here. This is the B word conference that threw me for a loop. It's the same structure. Just start it early, push it to the right a week, and it's there. It is. It's just, this is there every single month. Um, now that could change. It's not a guarantee. But look at this. This just played out exactly. My last video, I put in a little short order. I said it's sixty one thousand four four four. At that time, the price was like at sixty something like that. 60,300 or something. And it came up. See that? It tests test to the bottom of that channel. Boom. Just like clockwork. And now it came back down. And now I'm expecting this next daily candle just opened a couple hours ago. I'm expecting it to maybe make another run to the bottom of this channel for another retest. Now, that might not be true, but this these dumps have a history of starting out green and then putting in a wick and then turning red when they really start cascading. That's still what I'm expecting over the next couple of days. And then the first week in November, this is the part people like to hear that I might not say enough. Looking for the pumpage. This, you know, first two weeks in November could look like that right there. See that? I've been kicking around November pump, December pump may top out like at 72 to 73,000. Let me add that. I think people like hearing that. I'm not sure if I'm being shadow banned or if people just don't like me calling dumps and not talking about the pumps. But I mean, I called, I called this one. I called this one. I called this a fake spring. I called this one. I called called this one. I'm talking within 24 hours, right? I called this one. I called this one here within within an hour of publishing my video. This was a ten thousand dollar dump. On this one, I actually said I'm not sure when it's going to, but it's going to. I was calling the monthly pump. That's just kind of luck. It happened right away. But there, I've called every single major dump. And the last three weeks, I've laid this out on a silver platter. Word for word, if you want to go back, I have a link down in the description. I put them in a playlist. A little why Bitcoin's dumping every month. This ETF news, right here at 47,000. I wasn't aware the ETF hype was starting. So I made a bad video here, October 2nd, October 3rd. I didn't understand what was why it was pumping. This is a hype pump. This is a hype cycle. I've been meaning to say this real quick. I get lots of comments, or I've seen kids asking me which site is paying me to have my orders open. If, if I'm the maker of this short order right here, I'm getting paid to have that open. I'm at 12% realized profit. I'm not comfortable telling people to go to this, this side or that site for legal reasons. It's not legal everywhere, technically. Um, but the name of this site is on this chart right now. When you see charts like this, I don't want to get people into this kind of stuff because, I mean, it's good because... Only, only people with tons of money have access to money markets and poor people don't have access to money markets. So morally, you know, it's, I think it's good for poor people. I shouldn't say poor people, people with not much money, right? Why should only rich people have access to this and poor people don't? Why is there, why is that, you know, is that right or wrong? Right. But anyways, <laughs> basically I'm responsible for myself. I don't want to be responsible for other people. I don't know where you live, right? This could be, this could be not cool where you live and, Maybe the site gets shut down, you know, so I don't be responsible for telling people where to go. But I get that question a lot. This, the name of this site's on this chart. I got a lot to talk about. I just want to make this video short, but I want to put the good news in, right? Uh, lots of people are interested. Wh wherever this bottoms out this month, I got these white horizontal lines here. The next one's at 55.5. Next one's 52.5. This one down here is at about 48,000 too. And then I got some some uh, catastrophic bounces here down here, 43.7 to like 41. 
I'm, I was expecting in my last video, I was talking about the 55, five, the 52, five, maybe a catastrophic one down to 48, two. But I, I, I still think 55, five sounds about good. There goes my screen recorder eating up my computing power. You can see my trade down here. I'm being paid. See, I'm in realized profit. I'm at about 12% profit right now, even though my, my uh, long, my short, my slow rolling short position I have open since the middle of August is underwater. I really, I don't care. So I'm doing this a little differently. I don't want to confuse people. It might, might look like a moron right there. If you look at that, what I'm concerned with is my liquidation price, which is now almost at 78,000. My entry price is going up. It's about 52,000 right now. I'm basically dollar cost averaging. So I may have confused people in the past when I say put in little shorts here. Uh, it doesn't make sense if you're watching other YouTube videos, how they do it, you know, in and out real quick, right? Boom, bam, boom, bam. You can see this order I have down here. It's at $1,200. I have my buy. This is short. So I've sold the top in essence up here, right? Um, I, I wish I had more money. I've been saying like through here, I was saying before it happened, I wish I had more money to get in at 66 and 67. I talking about it, <laughs> wishing I would have been prepared, right? Cause my plan was when Bitcoin came down, I was going to start this same same strategy down here, like 20,000, but it never came down that low. I was going to use it using longs on the way back up. So now I'm now it's up here. So I'm using shorts on the way down. Right now you can see I have a short order in at 61,111. I do believe this might wick back up for another retest and fail short of it. The parallel line, uh, the parallel channel at the bottom is 62, 3, 62, 2. I've been comparing it to uh, this tesla hype pump back here it's very similar i want to make this video short but if i zoomed in the second one where we're at now after that came out the bottom of the channel it comes back up and falls a little short of the bottom of the channel and then dumps again so of course it doesn't have to play out just like the last one but uh a lot of this is very similar price action there's five or six other of these ascending channels i could draw in in between these two they all jump straight out the bottom. These are the two that went through the top, then came back down through the bottom. And I've been calling that for a couple weeks now. But uh, anyways, <clears throat> you can see these green lines down here. I have three buyback orders. I have my buyback order at 51.945. That's just because my entry price here. I'd like to start over because the November pump's coming, right? Now, I could be wrong, but this is my opinion. This is the history, the entire 2021 year. The November pump's coming, right? It's probably gonna look something like that, and you know, I don't know what it's gonna look like exactly, but you know, and then it's probably coming back down to the next futures date, like that, right? It's just the same thing. And then December might come up here, right? Uh, maybe December, right? So that's just how it's been working. So I'm just gonna keep looking at that. But anyways, I want to get some of my position out so I can start over, putting in my shorts on the way back up here, right? And then I have ones in for good profit down here. At uh, 49784 and 48829, the higher one is at 200, then one at 400, then the bottom one is at 600. I'm in for 1205, so that's almost my whole order. Now, those might not fill. I don't care, right? I don't care because I know some people got upset back in uh, back in July, when it, you know, saying I missed this pump. But that's I don't care if I miss pumps and I don't care if I miss dumps, right? Uh, is a is someone in this area you shouldn't you shouldn't be concerned with what you missed you should look forward and, and try to see what's about to come if you miss something oh well right don't don't chase it so uh later tonight you know if i think if i think this uh wick might not be coming back up to to uh 61 111 maybe i just go ahead and put in my short now because i do believe this is coming down i do believe this daily candle, October 28th daily candle, you see right here, the green one. I do believe this is probably going to come up a little higher or maybe it just dumps from now, but I do believe it's coming back down. I am watching the 55.5 area as a likely spot where it bottoms out for the November dump. I don't think this dump is over. It could still come down even lower. You see these white lines I have marked off, but uh, maybe it doesn't. Maybe it does. But I just want to explain this. I'm interested in the November, December pump. Could be the all-time all high. Oh, yeah. In uh, past videos, I had been talking about the hype cycle pump, the, the, the cycle of Bitcoin. 
how how I still believe that this is this is probably the cycle playing out, right? I was saying that this was going to happen, something like that. But you know, it, it came up higher, and some crypto charts I look at, you know, the, the dead cat bounce comes up higher than the original all-time high, and I'm saying it's priced still like this. I'm kind of changing my opinion now. That still could be true, but November, December, and January of Bitcoin historically have been the super powerful pumps in the in the chart in the cycle cycles. So the problem I have with Bitcoin going up over a hundred thousand in any time in the near future is the fact that right here, I'll just keep talking while my screen recorder goes because I don't want to lose my train of thought. <laughs> February twenty first, Bitcoin topped out at fifty nine thousand, and that was eight months and one week ago, right? You're talking about eight months and one week ago. Reset this chart. You're talking about right here, right here, February 21st, eight months and one week ago. The next time this happened, I had been, I started noticing this in March when I started noticing this pattern starting. And it's actually still going every single month, but it's just even these huge dumps and huge pumps. The pattern still keeps showing up. So why why would it stop now, right? Maybe it will, maybe it won't. So I think something seriously has to change for this pattern to stop. But here in March, I realized when it came back down to to like you know under fifty thousand, about fifty thousand, I just struck me in my gut. I said, I think this is this this cycle might be over. Because how can it continue? What's what's happening is tons of money is being taken out over and over and over. And we're not at the supply crunch of Bitcoin, right? The su supply demand function of bitcoin is just like basically any other asset at this point that supply crunch hasn't hit yet maybe maybe in the coming year or two or three or four next having cycle maybe that supply crunch that's what that's probably what bitcoin puts puts bitcoin up you know 100 to 200,000 i'm thinking maybe this is kind of like a stepping stone to a super cycle we might see a third a third peak right maybe this maybe this structure is just completely different cuz bitcoin's just kind of a platypus Right, this is going to be like a platypus thing. And there's another peak, right? And then, <laughs> who knows? So we might be in a range between like seventy-three and, and twenty-nine thousand for the next twelve months or something. I'm just kicking that around. So maybe, maybe, maybe some real bad news comes in. Something terrible happens, and, and Bitcoin comes back down. What we know for sure is the twenty-nine thousand is going to be protected by people with huge influence on social media. So watch for 29,000 to maybe be the floor for a very long time that never never really breaks. Oh, the point I was getting to, February 21st, 59,000. Today, eight months and a week later, we're under that. We're at the same place. We're at 58,800 as I make this video, right? We just wicked down to 57,000. So that's eight months and a week later. And think about all the incredible, marvelous, super amazing, bullish, hype stuff you've heard about bitcoin over the last eight months in one week think of all that incredible stuff you've heard right it's just being pumped out day after day after day so obviously there's some sort of problem right <laughs> obviously there's some sort of problem with the hype you hear the, the channels that and i don't mean to dog people but you know, when do they stop right last eight months in one week all the incredible hype super awesome stuff and we're lower we're lower today than we were eight months and a week ago. So obviously there's something else at play, right? The Bitcoin supply crunch is not here yet. It, it, sh it may be coming, right? So that's why dollar cost averaging works so good, investing. And that's basically what I'm doing here is, is a, a three times leverage with tiny, tiny little orders. I'm basically dollar cost averaging, but there's a lot to it. And if you just watch my videos, I'll, kind of piece it together for you. you'll see the power it is in a month or two what i'm doing so this if this if this same structures play out month after month after month that's why bitcoin probably won't go to a hundred thousand anytime in the near future i'm thinking maybe november december january it, it could get into the low seventy thousands, and then uh, we might be looking at another dump back down to like the 48 42 Right, and then and then maybe a dive back down to twenty nine, and and then maybe pump back up to to sixty five, 
So I'm playing, I'm kicking that around, but that's super speculation. What is not speculation is what you see in front of you. This monthly pattern over and over. So that's why I think this is still coming down over the next couple of days. October 29th, CME expiration date on the monthly Bitcoin futures uh, market. It could bottom out today, tomorrow, October 30th, 31st, November 1st, November 2nd, November 3rd, November 4th. It could be the bottom, bottom. Wherever wherever that bottoms, that's the, that's where the pump's coming, right? So this is good information. Likely, I mean, every single month in 2021 has done that. Maybe maybe something seriously changes and I'm totally wrong, but this is something to watch, right? <laughs> I'm not saying you do this, what I'm doing. I'm just showing what I'm doing. That's good information. And I'm kind of rambling. <clears throat> this is what the main thing I want to say in this video. We, we are at the same spot we were eight months and one week ago. So obviously there's something else at play in the price of Bitcoin, right? <laughs> so I don't expect that to change anytime soon. There are going to be awesome pumps and terrible dumps, depending on how you look at it. Right? There's going to be big dumps, big pumps coming. It's going to be deep, deep crevices. Just be ready for deep crevices. If you're just investing, the best way, if you had $365, the best way is to invest a dollar a day for the next 365 days. I don't know what kind of money people out there are dealing with, but there could be a catastrophic dump in the price. It could be down at 29000 Right, you'd be like, oh, why'd I why'd I ape in at 65? Right. <laughs> but if you dollar cost averaging, that's why it works so good, is because if it dumps down, you're buying a dollar every day and you're buying the bottom, and then you buy the top, and then you buy the bottom, and you buy the top, and you buy the bottom, and, and so you're very technically you're in, in the middle. And that's why it works so good. So I hope you enjoyed this. As always, thanks for watching.